In the fast-growing Kenyan population, clothing remains a basic need and Kenyan entrepreneurs are fast cashing in on the demand and the dynamic fashion trends in the country. One such entrepreneur is Wandia Gishoro, who's running Vivo, a thriving clothing line. From the moment you walk into a Vivo store, one is attracted to a colorful display of garments. The clothing line was founded by Wandia Gishuru, a former international development professional who traded her corporate gear for casual wear. A friend of mine and I were both taking exercise classes, dancing classes, and we were struggling in, to find stuff in the market. So we realized there was a bit of a gap finding affordable clothing that you could wear to a gym, to dance classes and stuff like that. Um, so we, we decided to set up our own business, and that was about three years ago. Um, and we opened our first store at the junction in 2011. The brand has established itself in Nairobi's premier malls, competing with other well-known franchise stores. And in Wandia's words, the reception has been quite impressive. We've had lots of really good feedback, um, a lot of repeat customers, a lot of word of mouth. Uh, we, we didn't have a very big advertising budget. We still don't. Uh, so we've relied heavily on our clients and walk-in clients to, to come in, to like what they see, to tell people. Just like any other business, she has faced obstacles along the way. Definitely, um, there's been ups and downs. I think everyone in business has felt it um, when the economy is a bit slow. It doesn't help when there's threats and where people are afraid to go to malls, um, when tourism is down, things like that. affect You see it affecting your business as well. Um, so there have been months where things have been a lot slower. Um, but also, you know, I think Kenyans are very resilient. And she has bigger plans in store for her clothing line. In terms of immediate plans, I think hopefully within a couple of years we'll have franchised um, in the region. Uh, definitely looking at Uganda, possibly Rwanda, Tanzania, um, and maybe beyond that as well. So that's one, op one you know, uh, vision that we have. And uh, I think also broadening our, our product range, you know, perhaps at some point, at the moment we only make for women, uh, but at some point maybe we'd like to introduce a men's, a men's line uh, and maybe a children's line as well. In addition to making the most out of the resources around you, her words of advice to other entrepreneurs are... Staying focused, you know, um, not trying to do too much um, helps as well because you know, it may not take off immediately, but I think if you keep doing what you're doing and you just apply that sort of discipline to, to, to that, it will get better, you know? So, I mean, I look at some of the stuff we're producing now compared to what we were doing a year ago, and I'm like, wow, you know, we've, we're getting better all the time. So I think it helps to sort of keep at it, you know? Um, don't get too disappointed too quickly. I mean, things do sometimes take, take a bit of time to perfect, yeah.